Hello everyone, welcome back to Insanus Venture Gaming. It's Jackson, and today I wanted to talk about something that crossed my mind the other day when I was playing Age of Calamity. Uh, now this is strictly based on the fact at the Nintendo Direct, it was said that Age of Calamity took place 100 years before Breath of the Wild, in that um, it's called the Story of Calamity. So we're just going to do this video strictly based off of that fact. I want to point out, the, uh, in the memories in Breath of the Wild, it goes to Zelda prays at Mount Lanayru, and then, you know, she's frustrated that she doesn't have any success in the awakening of her power, and then at this scene, this is where, you know... Calamity Ganon awakens in the middle of Mipha talking. So the champions decide to go their separate ways into taking back control of the Divine Beasts. And here Zelda's like, oh, you know, Link suffers an, an unfortunate fate. Zelda's left everyone to die. She's crying and Link is there for her. What we have here is Zelda's Awakening, and I'm going to play this specific memory so we can look at it and see what's going on. Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. Okay, and at this point, the memory, the memory ends. So we have the sequence of, like I said earlier, you know, slumbering power. Then we have the ret Zelda returning from Mount Lanayru. Calamity Ganon returns, and then despair and Zelda's awakening. So keep in mind, we're gonna go to the map. I haven't played this game in so long. The memory in which Link dies and is taken to the Shrine of, Shrine of Resurrection. If I remember correctly, I marked it on my map in Breath of the Wild. It's right here, when the grass is glowing and you, you press A and you remember your memory. It's right here, and this happens to be next to Fort Hatino. Now, if you pay attention, if you paid attention, which it's obvious you're going to, you're gonna see that memory is of a guardian. And if you go, if I remember correctly, this area in Breath of the Wild is covered with not even, like, decayed guardians, but completely destroyed guardians. And just to make sure I'm correct, I'm gonna warp there really quick. Okay, so I'm pretty sure right here, right around this area, is where you discover the, the memory. And if you look around, there are guardians everywhere. We got all these swords right here. Okay, now I'm gonna close out of this game. <laughs> close out of this game and go to Age of Calamity. Now right here we have the Calamity revealed. This is King Roam, and he, him getting upset with Zelda that she hasn't discovered her powers yet. So, same thing happens in Breath of the Wild, if I'm not mistaken. In Age of Calamity, very similar. You know, she's, she's here praying. Nothing. 17th birthday's coming around, Zelda is very upset she hasn't discovered her power yet, and she's not fulfilling her duty, just like in Breath of the Wild. 
Now we're gonna go to this point right here. This is this is the, the more important point. Right here, Zelda is at the Spring of Wisdom on Mount Laneru, praying, trying to discover her power and still to no avail. Nothing, just like Breath of the Wild. And in the midst of coming back from Mount Laneru, she meets up with the champions and in the middle of Mipha talking, they turn around and see that C Calamity Ganon has emerged. It's too late. And if you go uh, forward a little bit here, we find out that Zelda is aware that the Guardians and even the Divine Beasts are going to be taken over by Calamity Ganon. And she's upset. All the champions go their separate ways. Now this is kind of where it's a little... a little weird in the story, but... We're gonna go ahead to... We're gonna skip to... At last, an awakening. We're gonna watch this specific... Story... Clip right here. A little bit familiar. You had the sword in the ground just like the sword in the ground at Breath of the Wild that I had showed earlier. So we're gonna actually go to the battle where this takes place. Right here at Fort Hatina, which I already mentioned that it's not too far from those little lakes right there. We're gonna go into Fort Hatina and show what it actually looks like. Now, mind you, you can... In Breath of the Wild, the other... All the champions left to go restore the Divine Beasts, but here you can't only be Urbosa. That's a little bit of a, like, a... Uh, eh, in the story. But we're gonna go ahead. Okay, so I've made my way to the middle... About the middle of the battlefield, if you look around, there are those lake-type things right here. They're not really lakes, but... They're giant puddles, things are destroyed, there are swords in the ground, guardians everywhere. Mind you, you fight a ton of guardians in this level. This is the... Um, where the, uh... I'm pretty sure the first Malice Guardian emerges. And this is where, as shown in the memory, you also fight Light Ganons, and this is where Zelda discovers her power. Okay, so in in the midst of everything that happened at Fort Hatino, and what we know about the memories from Breath of the Wild and Age of Calamity, my thoughts are that somewhere in the Battle of Fort Hatino, something happened to where it caused a timeline split. Like I said, this is strictly based on what was said in the Nintendo Direct of Age of Calamity taking place a hundred years before Breath of the Wild. This is a loose idea, loose theory, I'm not claiming like I know everything or that I'm like, this is legit! Like, this is just a, a loose thing that I'm entertaining myself with, and hopefully entertaining you with. The reason I think it's a, a timeline split is because Zelda discovers her power in a very similar fashion, where she's trying to save Link. Link is in danger. In one, he dies and is taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. In the other... We come all the way up to here. Now, grant, now this has spoilers in it. We come all the way to here. The future of Hyrule. Where 
the champions and everyone come together and they actually defeat Calamity Ganon. So Breath of the Wild is where a hundred years later, after Link dies in Fort Hatino, that, you know, he reawakens and has to gain his powers back and get the Master Sword back only by regaining his strength and regaining his, his memories. Whereas, like I said, in Age of Calamity, Link doesn't die. Something different in Fort Hatino happens where Link is saved by Zelda discovering her powers. So given, given the sequence of events in both memories, you have Age of Calamity, Breath of the Wild. One, one comes first where the, the memories are Zelda goes to Mount Lanayru, comes back, meets with the champions, Breath of the Wild champions all go their ways to, to save the uh, Divine Beasts. In Age of Calamity, they kind of do the same thing, but it meets up with... It's, it's Urbosa going, so you can't play Urbosa, so it's a little bit of a misalignment in the story but regardless it's the same outcome there is some type of battle at Fort Hatino where one Link is saved the other Link dies and that's where we come from Age of Calamity to 100 years later Breath of the Wild that's just those are just my thoughts on it there could be information that I'm missing something I looked over I could be completely wrong. It's just that based on f what I've seen and what I remember, the story lines up to where this place right here is where the timeline splits. Like I said, I don't know what triggers it, but something, something happened based on my thoughts. So there you have it. You have your sequence of events, which ultimately led me to this idea or this theory. Let me know what you think. Do you think this sounds rational or legitimate? Do you think there's something I'm missing? Does this not make sense? You know, give, give me your feedback. I, I'd really like to know what everyone else might be thinking about this. And let me reiterate, this is solely based on it being said in the Nintendo Direct, Age of Calamity took place a hundred years before Breath of the Wild. That being said, thank you for watching. This small channel really appreci appreciates your support. Like the video or even dislike the video if you want. Comment, share, give me your feedback, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be putting out more content soon. We just had a lot of things going on. But as always, thank you for watching.